Hi everyone, Mr. James here, and I am continuing the series on Bootstrap from Twitter and the MVC framework from Microsoft, and merging those two together for a project template based on the included internet template that comes that ships with the MVC framework. Now, version four has been released. Um, we're able to follow along with everything that I've put so far in the series together, and we get to this point where um, we've we've started integrating some of the features that make MVC framework so. Um, easy to work with for .NET developers, and we've got the great look and feel that the Bootstrap library uh, provides for us. Uh, I have received a number of great comments and questions and feedback uh, so far since I've started this series, and one of those uh, questions actually, a couple of those questions actually came from a user called Arun. Um, who says, have you composted the completed project somewhere? All of the code that I'm writing is actually up on GitHub. So you can check it out, uh, github.com slash Mr. James, and you'll find the project there. It's bootstrapping MVC. And as I complete the project and as I continue to work on it, I'll keep pushing videos out and I'll update the repo there. So if you follow or fork me on GitHub there, then you'll see any of the updates that are there. The second question comes in from Arun as well and says, also I noticed that although the responsive feature works, Clicking on the icon on the top right has no effect. There's some white space above the top nav bar when you reduce the width. I could not solve this issue. Can you help? So I wanted to have a look at that. First of all, I was unable to reproduce the problem uh, when, that A run ran into when clicking the, the button that's, uh, that appears on the nav bar. But I did have a look into the responsive design issue where we get a gap at the top. And it turns out that it's a, it's a CSS conflict. So when we have a look here um, at the running application, what Aaron is referring to is when we hit that nav collapse threshold, the uh, space gets generated, gets thrown in above there. We've got 60 pixels or so of white space up there, which kind of sucks. Now, I'm able to click on that uh, button up there, and I have no problem doing that, so I'm not sure what else uh, you're running into, Aaron, and I'm sorry I can't help with that, but if you leave me some more questions or comments, I'll do my best to deal with it. We're going to fix this problem with the white space right away. Um, thanks for pointing it out. I did not notice that before. Um, it turns out it's very easy to fix, so we'll fix that really quickly, and then we're going to also light up the authentication and authorization links that were previously in the default template plate because uh, it's fairly easy to integrate as well. So let's start by diving into our layout CS HTML page is located in the shared folder under layout.cshtml and all we really need to do to make this work is to take our scripts and our styles that we've got rendered up in the header there and move them below this style tag. Now this style tag actually comes from the Twitter uh, or from the bootstrap stock sample that they've got, the boilerplate template that they've got to get started, and that padding at the top gives our body the room that it needs in order for us to render a nav bar, um, and unfortunately this causes a conflict with the, the bootstrap uh, CSS library, so we need to move that underneath uh, the style section, and sure enough when uh, we rerun this, uh, this is going to work for us. So um, a minor uh, change and a great result. You can see now that it collapses properly, and we get that nice re responsive design, and of course, nice big touch-friendly buttons for users on mobile devices and things like that. So the next piece is getting our um, authentication and authorization tie-ins. The register, the login links that are normally in this login partial class. Um, I'm a big fan of authentication and authorization in MVC. Um, in, on the ASP.NET platform, actually, it is, it's quite mature. It's about 10 years old. Um, it has, it's very deeply integrated, and they've made some great strides in progressing it with the release of MVC4, um, introducing very easy to implement local and remote membership providers so that you can actually have a local account that's tied to a Facebook login or a Twitter login, any open auth, um, open ID login that's out there, uh, including Google accounts and more. So we want to make sure that our nav uh, classes, or sorry, our um, our navigation bar up at the top actually includes links to register and log in. So uh, what you can see what I've done here is I've just added a few extra classes. First of all, I've wrapped the entire thing in a div and made it div collapse. That way, these UI elements will actually collapse into the um, uh, that that stacked list of items as well, but I've also got um, in here 
pull right on these to make them show up on the right hand side of the nav bar and I've added these little nav and nav bar text um, elements that just give a little hint uh, to bootstrap a little stronger hint as to what it is that we actually expressly want to do now in my layout I've got a line here right below the original nav collapse on the bar and I'm gonna just uncomment that text and now when I run it of course we're gonna see uh, right here up in the top right our login menu and our re register and of course when I scale that back down we can see everything that's in there as well now um, I've got some work to do uh, here this project was started before the official re release of MVC4 so I'm going to be upgrading the project template to use uh, both the latest version of Bootstrap, which will be 2.1, and the RTM version of the MVC4 framework, which will allow us to integrate uh, with Facebook and Twitter a lot easier. So um, I'm going to take those things away as an exercise for you. You could try rebuilding the steps um, that we've done so far on the release version of uh, the MVC4 framework and um, if you have any questions comments uh, please I encourage you to keep sending them in and I will try to clarify things as we go again I'm Mr. James you can check me out jameschambers.com um, or I am on github at uh, github.com whack Mr. James and on Twitter I'm at Canadian James thanks very much